Snyder has taken over at third with Jose Hernandez back at short. The 0 1 delivery. Breaking ball, and he hits a high fly to left center field. Curtis Goodwin tracking it, makes the catch. Mark Gracie cheering on Gary Gaetti. Well, when it's 19 to 8, you look for the little things in the game, Stoney. Well, maybe this bit of levity will help things somewhat. You know, if he retires in one, two, three, what's that pitching staff going to think? He might be back in that 10 tomorrow. He could the only, be. the only thing. One ball, no strikes. I don't think Marty's got a chart on this guy. Well, they're actually putting the speed of his pitches up on the board. This one, well hit right field. There goes your one, two, three inning and your shutout inning. And the 20th run up on the board. Five hits for Marlon Anderson. Only a triple shy of the cycle. That's his fourth home run, his 36th driven in. Twentieth hit of the night. Alex Arias the hitter now, and there is Philadelphia Phillies the last time they scored 20 runs or more back in 1985. Unfortunately, the Cubs have joined the 2020 club tonight. 20 runs, 20 hits. Given up. Yes. One ball, one strike. Gary finding out early that when they touch you for the long ball, you got to go to the changeup. And there's the reaction of Gary Gaetti as he's touched for the long ball and he throws one behind Alex Arias. That one went about two feet behind Arias. Well you give up a home run Stoney you, you're, you're supposed to come inside. You've got to knock him the down. Next <laughs> you knocked him down with a 40 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> Anderson a career high five hits in this ball game tonight. Boy, he has worn us out. And that is ball four. So Alex Arias is aboard. Last, Last game allowing 20 or more, 1987. Oh, it's a night of first, Wayne, and I'm glad you're here to see it. It's an honor, Stoney. It's <laughs> truly an honor. As you move to 0-5, we got to get you in the win column here, hey, too. You know. I tell you, it's been tough. Well, I'm not filling in next weekend, so perhaps there's a chance at Comiskey Park for the Cubs. <laughs> I don't know. One ball, one strike to count on Kevin Sefcik. Alex Arias aboard at first. Bullpen up and going again. It's Ricky Aguilera. Well, you got to wonder, is Guy Eddie running out of gas here? Well, he's on a 12 pitch limit. <laughs> so. Foul it back, hit it's two and two. Hold him right there, Gary Guy Eddie, at 20 runs, and uh, we got the ninth inning coming up. <laughs> Still two and two as Sepsik battles the gutty third baseman of the Cubs, Gary Gaetti. Crowd numbering in the neighborhood of, I would say, 60,000. Oh, it's a huge crowd. Oh, he hey, right struck him out. Got him with the high heat. And the, How about that? Mark Grace very happy that Gary Gaetti reached back into the pass to get a little extra. I think Gaetti goes to the rosin. Watch this. There is a swing and a miss. Boy, that ball had some movement on it, Stoney. Yep, late movement. Sure Wayne. did. <laughs> oh, and Kevin Sepsik says, I can't believe I struck out against the third baseman. <laughs> That's foul and out of play. Doug 
Glanville up for about the uh, 105th time seven in this time. game. <laughs> Lead off hitter hitting seven times in eight innings. And that'll probably be a fine for Kevin Stessick who's just shaking his head. He doesn't want to hear about it. First career strikeout for Gary Gaetti. 58,000 in attendance here tonight. 58,000 plus largest crowd since what, 1995, I believe it was. One ball, one strike. Glenville fouls it back. He's a little late as Gary is really rushing it up there. And Guy Eddie is trying to get the Cubs to the ninth inning. <laughs> Well, Glenville's had a pretty successful night of the plate. A little brush back can't hurt. This one slipped. That's a, a hanging breaking ball. That's the definition of one. And this one toward the gap in right center field. All the way to the wall. Glenville wants three. One run scores. Glenville in the third of the triple. Scores all the way from first with the second run of the inning. Well, Doug, one day will be able to tell his children that he tripled off a 40-year-old third baseman. The drive home, the 21st run on the 21st hit. And Glanville, with his third hit, drives in yet another run. 47 for the year for a leadoff hitter. And boy, does he have great speed. David Doster pops it up. In the shallow right field, Mickey Morandini draws a beat on it, makes the catch, and the inning is over. Two runs, a home run by Marlon Anderson. Not bad for a 40-year-old third baseman on the mound for the first time in the Henry Rodriguez leads it off for the Cubs, hits it sharply, and Marlon Anderson retreating into the outfield makes the play in time. One out, one pitch, one out. Marlon was playing in right field for that one. And like most guys making their first pitching appearance of the year, Gary's going to hit for himself. Absolutely. In the on-deck circle, without a jacket. Well, that shows bad form, because after all, he is a hurler now. You don't want to stiffen up. No. Hey, 13 will tie, and we'll have to play the bottom of the ninth, and he's still in there. Chicago Cubs invite you to join Cubs players, coaches, and broadcasters. We set sail aboard the cruise ship Odyssey, the 1999 Cubs Care Cruise, on Wednesday, August 11th. For information, call 773-404-CUBS. We predict smoother sailing on that cruise than we've seen on this road trip. On the ground to Anderson once again. Two men down. And that brings up Gary Gaetti. And listen to the round of applause for Gaetti. Well, he gets a tremendous hand for going in there, pitching an inning. And also because he's the last out before the fireworks. Chops it to the left side. Cut off by Doster. The throw in time, and the ball game is over. One, two, three, go the Cubs in the ninth and the final score in Philadelphia. The Phillies 21 and the Cubs 8 will be back to wrap it up after these messages.